Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Dre. I'm just taking a quick break at work here, but I really want to talk about some real shit. Some shit that's going to make motherfuckers upset. Now, Donald Trump was just elected as the 45th president of the United States during his inauguration. One of his many kids, the youngest to be exact, Baron Trump, he was seen at the inauguration. And because of that, suddenly um, he's drawn not necessarily criticism, but people decided to go ahead and make fun of him. Uh, one writer for Saturday Night Live, I forgot her name, but she said that he looks like the first homeschool shooter. She's been uh, indefinitely suspended from her job. There's one comedian on Comedy Central, I believe that it, that's who it is, some guy. Uh, he said that uh, he looks like a handsome rapist to be. And you've had some other comments such as he's looking for something to set on fire. He's going to torture animals in, on the front yard of the White House. Uh, to that, America, they're screaming, oh, you can't say that about the first son of the White House. Uh, everyone is outraged in America. And then uh, what's surprising is that you have Chelsea Clinton, uh, former first daughter, of course. She takes to Twitter and she says, he deserves to have a childhood and kids should be off limits. And I certainly agree. But my question to you is this, because of all this outrage, all the support that Chelsea Clinton is lending towards this young man. Where was all this outrage when people during the past eight years were saying some of the most vile and hideous things about Sasha and Malia Obama? Now, Malia, the oldest of the Obama girls, she was, uh, it was mentioned that she was going to be attending Harvard just like her father. She was going to take a year off when she graduated high school, and then she's going to attend the prestigious university. To that, people were saying shit such as the little ape should go back to Africa. One motherfucker even said, I hope she catches cancer or AIDS or one of those colored diseases. But there was no outrage. No one was pissed off. No one was upset about the things that were said against this young woman. And then last June, with Sasha when she was turning 15 years old and of course the media they're making a presence known that it's gonna be a birthday again attacks from white America one person said go fuck yourself another person had the audacity to say I hope you get raped by one of Obama's illegal aliens but once again no outrage no one was pissed off no one seemed to care because there's two black girls that you're sitting there racially attacking. But to say that you don't have to like the politics of the person sitting in the White House, and this is what uh, Chelsea Obama, I mean, uh, Chelsea Clinton alluded to. She said, you don't have to like the person sitting in the White House and the president's seat, but leave the kids out of it. Again, I completely agree with that. And right now, all of white America is agreeing with that, but they certainly didn't agree with that and didn't give a shit when it was two black girls in the Oval Office as the daughters of the first black president of the United States. So everything was fine and dandy, but all of a sudden, because he's a black president, he was every nigger, every ape, every simian derivative. So when the attacks came, no one said shit. There's no outrage from white America, but all of a sudden, white America's outraged because Poor little Baron Trump, he's the object of ridicule. Am I going to sit here and personally attack this young man? No. I know better than that. I'm not that kind of person. I've got kids. I won't want someone saying that kind of shit about my kids. But at the same time, it's open season. He's the son of the president. One of the most vile individuals to ever sit in the Oval Office. And there have been a couple. But in the modern era since I've been alive, besides Richard Nixon, Donald Trump has caused the kind of division that people have become uncomfortable with. But all of a sudden, those people who were attacking Obama, they're all of a sudden up in arms because they're attacking uh, Barron Trump. And I can't necessarily say that I feel bad for him. He's a 10-year-old kid, yeah. But once again, it's open season. I'm not saying go out and take up arms against him. But the media, people that might criticize, might poke fun at him, do I feel sorry? Fuck no. Because in this day and age, just to be black and to be the president of the United States or former president of the United States and to be the daughters of the president of the United States being black also, 
to have been attacked the way Sasha and Malia have been, it's about time that the new president's child receives some, if not more, of the same type of criticism. But the one thing that you're not going to necessarily hear from the media is the racial attacks by black people or other people of color. But America, all of a sudden, they have amnesia. They, they don't seem to realize that what they said against these two young ladies was some harsh shit. But I don't feel sorry. I'm not going to sit there and attack this young man. Yes, he deserves to grow up and have the kind of childhood that every child should have. But so did Sasha and Malia. That's the fucked up part. It's a double standard by white America. Anyway, I'm going back to work. If you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Peace.